full storm team. Chief Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum joins us now. Dave, I'm sure you're already done with shopping, right? You, right. You're yeah. not, no last minute shopper. Okay. <laughs> I haven't even started yet. Oh, okay, well, yeah, just like you, right? Uh, but uh, oh, yeah. yeah, it's it's hard to believe it's already here. Thanksgiving's next week. I mean, wow, that's crazy, right? Uh, but uh, at least we get an extra week to do shopping this year. That That's at least a good thing, at least for me. Uh, right now, though, we're looking at some cloudy sky out there this evening from our BJCC camera. Pretty quiet weather, 59 degrees, some light winds, too. Still have that dry air in place here, and that's really the factor why we didn't get a lot of rain uh, from the last 24 hours. Temperature wise, from 61 Tuscaloosa, Moundville, Brent at 58, same for Alabaster, 57 in Coleman, back to the Gadsden area. There are some pretty comfortable temperatures, not too cold, but notice no rain on our live radar sweeps out there. And you can see the rain is really cleared out across the state, but we are left with some mostly cloudy sky. Again, the area of low pressure that brought us the rain is kind of working its way back to the south and taking the rain with it and keeping it more along the eastern seaboard in Florida. Now, the Almanac today just showed we have a high this afternoon. We got up to around 65 degrees, which is on par from where we need to be. Low about 49, but look at the rain, only eight one hundredths here in Birmingham. Some places off to the east and west of the city did pick up a little bit more, like Tuscaloosa almost got four tenths of an inch of rain. Reason why is we had our low drawing up all this moisture, bring, spreading some rain across the area, but dry air from high pressure in the north was building in, and that was stronger, and that kept really Birmingham areas to the north really not much in the way of any rain. Now south of here, they got a lot of rain in south Alabama, which is helping with the drought, but this really was not much really helping at all with the drought conditions across our area. So tonight we're looking at pretty much quiet weather. Can't let some drizzle mist and some sprinkles. Temperatures around 53 degrees here in Birmingham. And as we get to tomorrow morning, looking at your coffee cast here, 54 degrees by 7 a.m., 59 by 9 and by 11 o'clock. We're already at 65 degrees. I can't rely out a sprinkle in tomorrow morning, but most of you will be dry out there. And as we go forward here on into tomorrow afternoon, nice warm one. How about lower 70s for much of the area? Well above the average there of 65 degrees. Now looking ahead, the chance of rain again tomorrow morning and then for the second half of Friday is another front comes in before we dry out Saturday and Sunday and another shot of rain comes in Monday and Tuesday. So for the rest of this evening again any kind of rain this is kind of overdoing what we have out there through tomorrow morning. I don't think we'll see too much in the way of sprinkles out there at least the way this model shows quiet weather through Thursday afternoon Friday morning starting off quiet maybe a couple of sprinkles ahead of our front but I think in the afternoon we could see a couple of stray showers popping up not a lot of rain nothing significant with this as we go through four o'clock on Friday and it pushes to the south with that front as we head into Friday night into Saturday. So Saturday will start with clouds afternoon sun 65 degrees. Sunday will start sunny with clouds building back in later in the day about 66 degrees a cold morning out there. But this means great weather for the Alabama game 11 a.m. kickoff temperatures. There will be in the 70s as we head on into UAB there two o'clock kickoff 72 degrees for kickoff there and it's going to Auburn. It looks like some warm temperatures down there and the planes for the three o'clock kickoff against New Mexico State. Now, as we go on into the rest of next week, this is our weather maker here. This is Monday morning showers and maybe a few rumbles of thunder will continue out there through Monday afternoon. Then another round are expected to come through as we head into Tuesdays. Our system moves through the area. So Monday, uh, maybe now the new update should kind of be a little wetter out there, but it clears it out for Thanksgiving Day Thursday. So looks like the weather for Thanksgiving looking pretty nice the way things look as of today. So 70s on Thursday and Friday, 60s this week. Weekend rain returns Monday, Monday night into Tuesday, but temperatures cool down into the 50s as we hit into Thanksgiving.